Hi everyone! Today's video will be a more detailed explanation about glue pulling. My name is Zen and if you are not subscribed yet, make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget about the bell notification as well, that way you will get notified whenever I release a new video. So last week's video was about before and after on a roof rail that was severely damaged by hail. In case you haven't seen that video, click here to watch it. So today I will be explaining more about glue pulling from beginner level on and will give you my tech tip about glue at the end, so make sure you watch the whole video. Keep in mind that stuff like this does look easy, but I guarantee you it's not. If you are new to PDR and you want to learn how to do PDR, Watching videos is a great way to start, but if you want to get really good at it and learn much faster, then in-person training is the way to go for sure. Let's first talk about what is glue pulling and why we use it. Glue pulling is one of many techniques that you need to know to do paintless dent removal. It's used most commonly on the rails because there is no access from underneath. Generally, you can't reach it with a rod to push it, so you have to use a glue pulling technique to fix it. Other uses of glue pulling is when you have a big dent and you just want to start the dent to make it smaller before starting with pushing technique or to, to relieve some pressure, but that is more advanced stuff. To glue pull, you will need a tap down, a blending hammer, a glue gun, glue, tabs and slide hammer or a mini lifter. You will also need a bottle of alcohol, but not the drinking one. You will need an industrial one that will get the glue off the panel. Let's make some dents in this rail so we can glue pull them. Okay, that was a lot of dents, not just some dents, but hey, we have to make it a challenge, right? I counted 45 dents of all different sizes. Before putting a tab on, you want to make sure the panel is prepared correctly. After you got the panel ready, it's time to start glue pulling. The selection of glue and tabs is very important. I mainly use gangrene and dead center tabs along with special PDR glue from Europe. When glue pulling, you will pull the dent really high most of the times. There are some occasions on smaller dents when the pull is just perfect and there is no need for tap down or anything else, but those are very rare and we all cherish them and almost throw a party when they happen. Here you can see me place the tab on the dent, wait for the glue to get cold enough to pull and then make a good pull. You can see how the dent is high now. Here is where the tap down comes into play. The dent needs to be tapped back down in order to make the panel flat again. Most of the times we need to repeat the process more than once on the same dent. The bigger and sharper the dent is, more times we need to do this. I'm gonna pull a few dents in fast forward motion.
Okay, let's time lapse. With the glue pulling technique, I also use the blending technique that speeds up the repair process and makes it much nicer at the end. Here is the finished repair. Glue pulling is a much needed skill if you want to repair a hail damaged car. So my tech tip for today is about glue selection. There are many different glues on the market and some work better in some conditions than others. Each glue has its own characteristics. They all have the best melting temperature and the best working temperature, you just need to figure it out. They also have the best window to pull, meaning that let's say for example the glue I use is best when I pull it in 5 to 10 seconds after applying it in a normal room temperature condition. Lower the temperature, the faster I must pull. I recommend you use one glue for a longer period of time and play with the temperature settings on your glue gun and really get to know your glue. That way you will get the best pulls you can. Please let me know down in the comments what glue do you use. Thank you so much for watching and happy pulling!